You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. All right, black and white sports fans. If you guys remember in April of this year, like three months ago, we actually did a, a video on a Dallas Cowboys player, defensive player, Kelvin Joseph. He was a person of interest in a drive by shooting death of Cameron Ray. Now, what made me kind of question if he was actually going to get in some serious trouble is, is that people that the police, I should say, would actually were actually looking for him. And he was identified by this uh, necklace that he actually wears around his neck. Now, if they didn't actually um, find out it was him, they probably would have not made the two arrests that they actually made in the death of Cameron Ray. Now, Kelvin Joseph did not go to the police. The police were looking for him. Well, now, guys, we have an update now over here on Yahoo Sports. Dallas Cowboys cornerback Kelvin Joseph cleared in murder investigation. Now, folks, this doesn't mean that he is out of the woods with any type of trouble with the NFL, but he was not involved in the killing of Cameron Ray. However, he was in the vehicle where the shots came from. Boy, I hope he learned a... um. The big lesson, be careful who you hang around with. Um, it says here, Dallas Cowboys cornerback cor Kelvin Joseph has been cleared in a local murder investigation steaming from a March drive-by shooting, according to a report from the team's in-house media. Joseph is expected to report to the team Monday and be fully available for the start of Cowboys training camp in Oxnard, California. A lead source told Yahoo Sports on Sunday that the NFL is still monitoring jo Joseph's uh, legal cooperation with the Dallas Police Department, which sought him for questioning in April, nearly one month after he was identified among a group of men that had been suspected to be involved in the March shooting death of Cameron Ray outside the OT Tavern in the East Dallas. So this man waited a whole month before he actually went to the police. And the police were actually seeking him out. The 22 year old appeared in a video inside the bar and also outside on March 18th, including footage that appeared to show a group containing Joseph engaging in an altercation with a group uh, containing Ray. Shortly after that altercation, another video showed an SUV driving by Ray's group at which um, at which uh, point gunshots were fired from the vehicle, striking Ray as he walked through a parking lot. Joseph was identified as a person of interest in the case nearly one month later after Dallas police revealed footage on a Fox 4 uh, news television broadcast and received a tip that Joseph, who was also a rapper under the pseudonym uh, YKDV, boss man fat, that's actually the necklace um, he was wearing, that's what actually identified him was among the men being sought for questioning. Joseph met with police shortly after cooperating with investigators. His lawyer stated in April that um, Joseph had been in the vehicle, but was not the shooter and was cooperating fully with Dallas police. Following his uh, meeting with police, the Cowboys said they were satisfied with Joseph's cooperation and welcome him. Welcome um, his uh, full participation in the team's off-season program. So there you have it, guys. Uh, Kelvin Joseph in the clear from police. But I'm wondering, though, guys, if he will actually get into some kind of hot water with the NFL. I mean, he was in a vehicle that fired the shots at, um, at Cameron Ray. So he obviously he knew who actually shot Cameron Ray. But he didn't go to the police. He waited like a month. And I know, you know, maybe he's afraid. I get that. But a whole month, never went to the police, never said anything. I'm wondering if the NFL is actually going to try to hold that against him and um, maybe do some kind of investigation into him and um, maybe a suspension. 
I'm not really sure, but that's pretty much it, guys. Cameron Ray, well, not Cameron Ray, but on Kelvin Joseph in the clear from police. He is a free man. He's not going to be charged uh, in a murder uh, because Texas did have a law where basically like um, if a person pulls the trigger and you're um, basically like he's in the same vehicle where the shots came from, all of them could have actually been charged with murder. So it seems like he definitely dodged a bullet here and he's a free man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.